What the fuck? It's just play. Snap! Don't worry, I'll just press square. That's all good. Delayed game, offense. A penalty is declined. Well, the offensive penalty has us back where we started as they come it is on YouTube. first and ten. Rosen on first and ten. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways oh, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. And this one complete to Jermaine Gresham. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Yo, I got 100% completion. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. <laughs> yeah, I threw it one time. <laughs> Doesn't matter where it's coming from. Tyler nah, I threw it two times. become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Oh, come on. Gets in that time, down he goes. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. And what in the world? Not sure if he just heard a whistle there or what, but for some reason he spiked the football. Four down, four down. Back down to that Philly. Here we go. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. Third and long here for Rosen. And that's caught left side. Seals Jones with it. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, what are you, you guys doing? But yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, <laughs> and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Here we go now. Wait, y'all playing Bethany? Here we go on fourth down with Rosen. And this is going to be incomplete. The surprising so, uh, move here on the opening drive of the game. Fuck, I don't know what play that was. Turnover on downs. And partner, I'm not really sure what in the world they were thinking on fourth and one there at this imagine. stage in the game. But you think social media may be firing up a little bit right now? Oh, the coach is trending right now. <laughs> it's a fuck. People wonder what that decision was. But it takes me back to <laughs> so ago, close. A very successful <laughs> coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game he was going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. All right, and we were in the same play. No. Early, and they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recover. Well, that's aggressive in capital letters with glitter. Seven underscore. I mean, that's that's the definition of aggressive. Yeah, you can almost hear the cheerleaders doing the be aggressive chant behind him, and he listens. Uh, Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You Wait, make your defense what? mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. Dalton. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Just a five yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Over here, over here. They'll try to pass on fourth down. Dalton. He's got his man, Boyd. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They were caught in no man's land that time, but the decision to go for it, that was the right one. It's a first down. First and ten for Dalton. Diluting the pressure right. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. So they took a shot on first down. But Damn. I know I'm not giving up credit to the defenders because that pass was incomplete. 
But come on, it was A.J. Green. I always expect him to come up with the ball. Yeah, on those deep routes especially, even on incompletions, it's fun to watch him run those routes. Uh, it certainly is, but he eats up ground, and he usually goes up and gets it. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. Another look for Dalton on second and ten. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here. As that will take It's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. Hey, get ready for something coming left. Dalton bootlegs out. Oh, oh shit. Too great, and he goes down once more. Hassan Reddick in there to drop him. And back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long. Fourth down. Dalton wants to throw. Jesus. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Yeah, I wish you could juke as the quarterback. <laughs> in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Well, their first fourth down huh? attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Open man is Kirk complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. The completion good for three and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Now Rosen to throw on second down. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside. Wait, what y'all talking about? Second off? Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them. Yo, where's my jewel? Yo, what's so up? You got my jewel? Better against man because now you're right. You got my game, bro? Yeah, I got your game. Why didn't you link me today? I don't know. Is your game, nigga? Huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. A nigga can't breathe. Like, Are we on? Alright, whatever. Ah! Away from someone, and you're not running right. into a defensive player in another zone. Now Rosen, over the middle complete. That's Fitzgerald. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for oh. yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Rosen will throw, and he's got Gresham, and he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Now Rosen looking to throw. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. 
I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. The Cardinals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. Go. Throwing again. It's Rosen. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked by Nick Vigil. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, partner, after the conference championship games, there was a lot of talk about the overtime rules, understandably so. Do you think that anything needs to be changed in the NFL overtime situation? I, I don't think so. And you gotta remember, you gotta remember I'm, an old, I'm an old crone, all right? So here's the deal on it. The NFL jumped into popularity oh with an overtime God. game. The Baltimore Colts being the New York Giants back in Rose in 1959, 58-59. That's when the NFL really came into prominence. And it was sudden death. Alan Amici, the Colts got the ball. They scored. No one talked about anything, but boy, what an exciting game. As time went on, people started talking about fairness. So the overtime rule finally got changed. If you score first with a touchdown, the game's over. Otherwise, you keep playing. I think that's pretty cool. And in our two championship yeah, games this year, we had overtime and ball. Yeah. Tom Brady and the Patriots won the toss, went downfield, scored a touchdown ball game. Drew Brees and the Saints won the, won the coin toss through an interception. The Rams kicked the field goal and won. Defense still exists. If you can play it. Now they it. face a third and ten after back to back like incompletions. Triangle, they, they were blocking too. Let's see. Here's Dalton. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Josh Bynes bringing the pressure again, and that is his third sack here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? So they are going for it. Now Dalton airing one out for Boyd. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Oh, Patrick Peterson, the shutdown corner, was there on the coverage. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. So out now come the Cardinals. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks and Waddle hurt. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Oh my God, he got in the by Jesse Bates. Now the return will stop right around the 25. Well, the upcoming Super Bowl, so many storylines, but one that obviously grabs you, Sean McVay. Just turned 33 January 24th. Youngest coach ever to take a team to the Super Bowl. Double that age for Bill Belichick, who's 66. And Charles, that's the largest gap between coaches in Super Bowl history. Yeah, and when you think about it, obviously the age comes into play. But to me, it's more the experience. The number of times that the Patriots have gone to the Super Bowl with Belichick leading them versus Sean McVay's first time in the Super Bowl. Is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Try to lay one up deep. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. I'm getting in my way. William Jackson with a pick. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience... And a big loss 
Jones here as he's taken down. Chandler Jones able to get in and run him down for a loss of 14. Got to be careful here, Dalton. Wide open receiver complete. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now the Bengals on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. Passing. It's Dalton. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They're going to try and throw. He's got a first down past the 30. And finally brought down at the 34-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. The final act of the first half, Dalton buying time to his left. He's going to air it out deep for Green. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by DJ Swearinger. He will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. We'll jump over halftime. So we have reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front. Here we go with a player spotlight, and we shine that spotlight. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Second and ten. Dalton once more. Steps away to his left. Points the target, and he has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Boyd. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. And this play was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Now Dalton with a first and ten. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Dalton throwing on second down. Forced out to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Marcus Golden in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight.
Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? And he couldn't oh. hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Try to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw it to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Andy Dalton. Why are you moving that way? Oh my God. This nigga's retarded. Sack back of the 29. Chandler Jones in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. No oh, offensive nightmare there. You go for it on fourth, and the play doesn't even really get to develop a sack. And it's so unfortunate, too, because you think you've got something good called, but if your offensive line can't hold up, that's often the result. They find their way back to the quarterback. And yeah. he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. One of the feature Yo, I should have just gave it to the being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the best throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some nah, tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. What? Throwing now, Rosen oh, on first God down. Damn it. That's going to be caught by Kirk. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Back-to-back -back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, 31 yards. And now the Cardinals are within a two-point conversion of tying up this game. Now Rosen will lead him up here to go for two. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. Here's Rosen to throw, and that's going to be incomplete. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. So they kicked it there. Wham. Third quarter. What? Maybe first or second. You don't. I don't know. What that do still think? went yeah, far. I'm, I'm, again, far. I keep coming back to. I don't like to chase a lot of points, yeah. but I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field, and on the last drive. They were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. While we have a second, Charles, the Patriots, of course, back in the Super Bowl, getting the 37-31 victory over KC in the AFC title game. Great game, but you know, the, the you Patriots... Know nobody believes them. Yeah, right. right. They're playing that underdog, and he can't get rid of it. taken down. Robert Kendici breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Throwing on third and long. Dalton. I don't know what was going on there with the end zone. This is going to be a safety. Well, uh, I'm not totally privy to what went on with their offensive meetings, but Charles, something tells me that one wasn't in the play. Yeah, Sam. When we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly share that with us. But I'm pretty sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into oh, the end zone. Play he hit him first, bro. Down. I wanted that fumble. Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. 
but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once, but boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit yeah, that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. You makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy right, now, in a good way. Line of 56. scrimmage, again, the 25, second and 10. Now let's go! Second and ten now, it's Rosen. And my goodness, another Yo. interception. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a quarterback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets, but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. On second down, here's Mixon. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. And the Bengals on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This time it's third and 3. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. Anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Marcus Golden in there to get him for his second sack of the night. Fourth down. Dalton wants to throw. And that what? is going to be incomplete. <laughs> Marvin Lewis tries to guy. Look at Fufu guy. I don't know. He just said night. Super Bowl predictions. Hey, why not? Let's go ahead and put ourselves on the spot. Just more fodder for the angry people. What do you think? Who's going to win it? Who's going to be the MVP? Well, my prediction for this one is the New England Patriots God, win the God, football God, game. God, God. They win it 32 to 30. The MVP, the McCourty Twins. And now here is another interception. William Jackson oh. with the pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for Well, we know this defense has athleticism. Spots like that prove us right. I love the way that you spotlighted the athleticism because you and I both know the best athletes on the field, they play on defense. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was a kicker. You got to remember that now. Come on, come on. Fine. There, D gets the INT. Now, what can Dalton do? And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. And they turn the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upsell. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going, <laughs> and then they capitalize a little bit on top. <laughs> and they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Never! Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. Sometimes that oh, works just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Now it's Rosen. And Gresham's got it over the middle. <laughs> Jermaine Gresham, 39 yards. And now the Cardinals are within a two-point conversion to tie it up this game. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Now play here for a touchdown. Damn, that's got to be tough, bro. You gonna get another safety? 
The fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but it he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Yeah, are you guys going to keep playing Destiny? Can do. Aww. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play fake. Here's Dalton. Going deep downfield for Ross. And he bats it away. He underthrew it, bro. It was DJ Swearinger right there yeah. in the coverage. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. <laughs> big loss here as he's taken down. Chandler Jones in there again. My goodness, that is now his fourth sack tonight. Bengals going for it. Here's Dalton escaping the pressure right. Brought in here by Tyler oh. Eifert. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. Boy, you talk about not playing it safe. Why were they going for it there, Charles? It's got to be a full evaluation of their team. Do they trust their defense in this situation? Maybe they think they've given all they can in this game and they don't have anything left. Do they not trust that the other team's quarterback is just so hot that it, no matter where they get the ball, they go downfield? Remember when Bill Belichick went for it yeah. in that game, yeah. right, against, against Indianapolis yeah. on the road? And everybody said, why'd you go for it there? I think he just thought to himself, on the other side, if they get the ball, they're going downfield anyway. He was trying to end the game right there with his own offense. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. The throw is Rosen. This will be caught just inside the 10. And here he'll get it down yeah. to the 7. That'll yeah. put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. Uh, he hasn't beat the first ball. He hasn't got up to the first ball. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock Should here on tough, first bro. and goal? A field goal Yo, it says Jefferson Mango wants to join. Goal line phase. From the gun, it's Rosen. This pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete now a second down throw for the end zone but it's incomplete but he caught it out of bounds and the score stays the same here in the fourth so close to changing numbers on the scoreboard. When you're running routes in the end zone, you've got to give yourself enough space as a receiver to make sure you can come down with the ball inbounds. Now, especially in this type of a game in the fourth quarter. Four down, four down. All right, here we go. 319. 319. Third and goal. Rosen. 
And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Now, you it, uh, once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get imagine, a ball in there. Yeah, you don't get it, those but then I guess it's back in like the end. Yeah. Extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Likely the play of the game here. Trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's Rosen on fourth down. And no, it's incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And as a result, they could have had the lead with a field goal. Instead, they turned the ball over on downs. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on four. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go? And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. <laughs> and Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about the play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive the huddle, team. that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? Yo, a lot of the that's the second the time he did huddle, that. They actually call a set and then say at the end of it, oh, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. Josh Rosen and company getting set for their next possession. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. Oh, some strong running. And Gresham, the tight end, brings it in. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before uh, the 35. you just clicked wherever it tells you. They give him a gain of 37. That's tell you that. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. And Christian hands it left side. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now a timeout coming in here defensively as they stop it before the two-minute warning with 2.09 to go in the game. Yeah, really, nigga. Now Rosen on first down. And this is caught at the end. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Larry Fitzgerald from 21 yards away. And the Cardinals have broken the tie. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. Oh, no, and I just remember 56. as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh -oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Being chased under pressure now, and he's going to go Easy. down just inside the five-yard line. Tried to roll out, make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and you end up getting sacked. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. Well, they don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just, mess, just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead. And, oh, oh, my God. Pressure there as it's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And the return comes to yeah. him right at the 44-yard line. Yeah. Time for a break. <laughs> We're back to see what happens. That looked like a fumble, did it not? So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. That was a they've hard got first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And Rosen's actually going to throw it here. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Vontez perfect. Leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. 
Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Now it's Rosen. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly That's right. Third party, down, party. you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. This one, Green, 39! Green, 39! They're going on fourth down. Rosen. And that is incomplete. The linebacker, Preston Brown, there to knock that one away. And that makes him now 0 for 3 on fourth down attempts. A lot of people would say they're showing a lot of guts going good, for it good. this many times on fourth down. I think they'd have to start thinking with their head a little bit more than with their gut and their emotions because it's not working for them. They've got to figure out what's been going wrong. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scam the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Back to throw. Looking middle. Yeah, that's not even you, bro. The safety boot of Baker there to force the incompletion. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here a hundred times. Nothing good is going to happen. Fighting for my you throw it in the wrong life. Place, I'll take it the other way. He looked to throw. And now another one thrown incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight yeah. incompletions. They're giving them nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt mm -hmm. about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, five up, five up, not lingering. Up. Big throw coming up. He's back to throw. And oh, my it's God. Incomplete. Oh, Patrick Peterson, the shutdown corner, was there on the coverage. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play Detroit! over fast. Detroit! You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz him, put pressure on him, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed no, no, crossing route. Here we go now. Blue lining. Blue lining. It's not oh, meant Wilson's going to throw it. Yeah. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back Good right game, at the midfield stripe. Hey, you want to play at them? Yeah, you can. You know what I'm talking about? I got it. Can you hear me? Ah, let's go. Come on. I just claimed the tone back from these dudes. <laughs> Come on, man. That's it. This is the Game of Thrones. Oh.
Hold up. Wait, which controller I'm using right now? Is this in my account? Yeah, just switch it. Just switch it. All right. Use my controller. Out though, um, hold up. Her daddy and my dog, black rhythm nation, Janet. Boy, don't make me Jackson. Jackson, how you do that? Uh, 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 just switch it back to mine. Uh, I think I gotta join the party. How to join the party though? Chill is empty invite me? Just play on my account, switch account. Oh. oh hold up. Oh, my bad. I just. 